Have you heard about a very famous intelligence driven model cyber kill chain? No? Let me help you out. Hi, this is Sayyam from Infosec Train and today we'll discuss about cyber kill chain. It's a military model. It's a military term actually given by Lockheed Martin in order to understand and analyze the different phases a cyber attacker goes through. It has certain phases. Let's talk about them. The very first one is reconnaissance. Reconnaissance means information gathering about your target. Here, the attacker will be gathering all the required information regarding their target. Be it what all the security measures are being used in the organization, your personal details, your email IDs, anything for that matter which can help them to form the attack. Second is weaponization. See, as I mentioned, it's a military term, right? So weaponization means what? Here we are creating a weapon in order to perform an attack. So you can say a payload will be created, a malware will be structured over here, which will be helping to destroy or exploit the vulnerability which was found out in the reconnaissance phase. Third is your delivery. Delivery means you're sending your weapon to the target. So via phishing email or by USB bait, you're trying to send a weapon to the victim. Now, as soon as victim clicks on it, the fourth phase happens, which is exploitation. So we are taking an example, let's suppose you send a phishing email in the delivery phase and the victim clicks on it, or you can say executed the files which were there. So exploitation will be happening. The vulnerability which were there identified will be exploited with our malware. And now we reach to the fifth stage, which is installation. Malwares will install multiple more other malwares to maintain their persistence over there in the environment, through which we get to the next phase, which is our command and control. Here, what will happen, we'll create a remote connection with the victim system. So here's attacker, here's victim system, a remote connection will be created through which attackers can command and control the victim's system. And now it eventually leads to the last phase, which is action on objectives. What happens over here, since we have created the remote connection, now we can control the entire system and we can take entire data out of it. Or whatever the actions attacker wants to perform, can easily perform. So these are the certain phases of a cyber kill chain, which you should know about. Thank you.